Challenge number two is gonna be our durability test. And the reason that we're doing this is that if you do need to go off the beaten path, we need to see how these boots are gonna hold up. And we're gonna do this challenge by going through some thick brush and see if they get torn up or not. Contender number one is really taking some damage there. There's no full breaks in the upper, but it's getting scratched to shreds. So you can tell these would not hold up much longer. Let's see if contender number two does any better. It looks like contender number two is holding up a bit better, but still definitely taking on quite a few scratches. It seems to be a bit more sturdy material overall. Last but not least, let's see how the third and final contender does. Time for the trusty Armadillo 2. You can see the Armadillo 2's toe cap really taking a lot of the brunt of this brush and the scratch resistant suede seems to be holding up pretty well. Contender number one definitely could have done better. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit of damage on the front of the rubber toe cap. And this rubber toe cap is really thin. So I think that's part of the reason why it didn't do very well. Contender number two did a lot better. However, the rubber toe cap is very small. It's only in this front part. So some of the leather took the beating on that little test there. Contender number three, the Armadillo 2, did a really good job taking some abuse. And I think that that really can be attributed to the fact that it has this really big rubber toe cap up here that is reinforced. So it's able to really push through tough conditions and last and take a beating. So I'm gonna have to say, once again, the Armadillo 2 crushed it in this test.